am Megan from the Vermont Institute of Natural Science and I'm here in our flight cage and I have a net and some gloves and I'm about to try to catch that red-tailed hawk that is back there. I don't know if you can see him. Um, he's been in rehab with us for a while and now he's in our flight cage so we can see how he flies. Um, he was found with an eye injury and um, he's recovered pretty good here. Um, so I am here with a couple other VIN staff members and we're going to work together to try to capture him. Um, and the reason we're capturing him today is we're going to weigh him and make sure that his weight is stable and not dropping. So here we go. So this is the red tail and um, you might be able to tell that he has um, his left eye is um, slightly different than his right eye and we're not sure how good his visibility is out of his um, injured eye. So in addition to making sure he can fly well, we're also going to live prey test him which means we're going to put him in a sectioned off part of the flight cage with a live uh, a couple live mice and we're going to make sure he can catch them because if he can catch them and can see then he's um, really you know, re ready to go back to the wild. So, But for right now I'm going to take him inside and weigh him and before I take him in I'm going to cover up his head so he doesn't have to see everything that's going on around and it will keep him a little bit more calm. So we are inside now at Vins and uh, we're at the scale and I've already weighed the towel, so that won't be counted in the, the hawk's weight. And to weigh a raptor, you put them on their backs like this, because um, that is the best way for them to remain calm while you are weighing them. And then you have to very slowly release them. And he'll just, should just lay there for a second. So he is about 1,047 grams. And now that I've got his weight, I can check his chart and make sure it compares well to his other weights and that he hasn't lost any weight or gained too much. And I'm gonna go put him back in his flight cage. Hi, I'm Sarah from the Vermont Institute of Natural Science. What you have just seen is one example of the more than 400 birds that VINS cares for each year. As a 501c3 not-for-profit organization, we depend on your support to provide the medical treatment these birds require to get them healthy and back into the wild. In addition to our on-site avian rehabilitation facility, VINS Nature Center in Queechee, Vermont proudly displays an impressive collection of live raptors, songbirds, and other animals for you to see up close. With 47 acres of diverse natural habitats, the Vins Nature Center offers a host of educational programs and special events enjoyable for people of all ages. For the latest information on the birds in our care, a list of our current Nature Center programs, outreach opportunities and events, or to contribute to Vins so that we can continue our important work, please visit our website at vinsweb.org or call 802-359-5000 for more information.